Hello and welcome to my show Indus Cuisine and I'm your chef Basim Akhun. We're back with a new episode from the heart of Pakistan. Today's recipe is very interesting and this recipe is a household favorite in the country. This recipe is also enjoyed mostly at the breakfast time in Pakistan and we're making anda keema. Now you might be thinking what does this recipe mean? Anda basically means egg and keema means basically beef mince. But whenever we talk about minced beef in Pakistan, it means that we make it in a spicier way. So what are the ingredients for today's recipe? They're very easy, they're easily available in the market and the ingredients are you need around half a kilogram of beef mince then you need around two onions, around three to four tomatoes you'll be needing some fresh coriander and fresh mint leaves apart from that you'll be needing some green chilies you'll be needing some cumin seeds, red chilli powder, coriander powder, salt to taste some garlic, some turmeric and some oil that is about it it's a very easy recipe on the first hand what I've done is I've kept some water over here once the water comes to its boiling point what you'll do is you'll just take out the eggs and add them to the water now remember always salt the water why because it gives a nice lining to the egg so if there's any crack in the egg what will happen is that the eggs will not start breaking out so just add the salt and now slowly and gradually just place the eggs in the water now whenever you're placing the eggs do not drop them too much place them on the corner and let them go in slowly and gradually as you can see there's some bubbles this basically means that the egg shell is very very thin so you have to be very careful if you're using uh, organic eggs which are completely different then only what you can do is you can basically drop them in and they won't crack now what I'll do is I'll just let them boil on the light side not too high the heat needs to be very normal now what I'll do is I'll just break up a frying pan and I'll place it over here the frying pan must be placed here and you will add a little bit of oil the lid will go on the side why because we'll be using it later in the show so what I'll do is I'll just add half a cup of oil right now and bring the oil to heat so the oil needs to come to heat till the time the oil is coming to heat what we'll do is we'll pick up the onion and we shall just cut it like this and take the root out the root goes on the side and we shall just finely slice the onion Turn around. And slice it from the top. Slowly and gradually it will take you a long way, remember that. And add the onion to the oil right now. Pick it up. You have to cook the onion till the onion gets brown, remember that. Why? Because the brown onion will give the, uh, to uh, the tomatoes and the uh, beef mince a very nice dis distinct flavour. Now throw this in the dustbin, the root, increase the heat which is on full and just add a pinch of salt from the top. The salt goes in, mix it up and just place a lid on top after pressing it straight and this is done place a lid on top and let it cook for let's say around five minutes till they brown up so now what I'll do is I'll pick the tomatoes I'll keep the tomatoes over here we'll pick up four tomatoes and we shall just take the eye of the tomato out the eye goes on the side remember that place them on the side like this smoothly and then just cut the tomatoes into two halves Mm -hmm. 
slowly and gradually it will take you a long way, remember that. And once this is done, I'll just bring the jug in front, keep it over here and start transferring all the tomatoes in the jug. Now process the tomatoes until they're super fine. Over here you have to boil the eggs for at least 10 minutes. We're making the Pakistani version of a nice wholesome breakfast. So remember that whenever you make eggs over here, people do not like the yolk very runny. They like the yolk to be very stiff and well cooked. So you'll cook it for 10 minutes and apart from that over here as you can see the onions have turned translucent. We let them cook till they get super brown. Okay, give a lid on top and process it till it converts into a fine paste. So what I'll do is also I'll add around half a cup of water first. Why? Because we need to cook the tomatoes and the meat together. For that what I need is I need the water to dilute the tomatoes and give it a nice fine texture. Tomatoes are converted into fine paste. What I'll do now is I should just take the lid off and I should start mixing everything. Why? Because the onions on the outer side get super brown while the onions in the center do not get brown easily. So keep mixing it like this. And just take the other tomato and throw it in the bin. You don't need these to so keep your counter always super clean. This is done. Now what I'll do is I shall add a few things. What I'll add is I shall take some garlic. I'll place around five cloves here. This recipe will only be using garlic, no ginger. Why? Because we want the flavor of garlic to basically go in the recipe. So what I'll do is I shall just finely slice the garlic. And I shall repeat this for each and every piece. The garlic needs to be paper thin, remember that. Why? Because I want the paper thin garlic to be bit on. You don't want a big piece of garlic going in your mouth. Why? Because it will change the whole flavor and texture of the recipe. And it can also start dominating all the other flavors. So you have to be very, very careful when it comes to the garlic. And this is done. What I'll do is now I shall just mix it up and transfer all the tomatoes over here. You can see the oil will come up eventually and what I'll do is I'll place this on the side and I'll pick up the garlic and I'll cook this in the sauce for at least at least five minutes after I give it a lid. So what I'll do is I'll mix it up spread the garlic out and add around half a teaspoon of salt remember that why because you want the flavor of the tomatoes to be nice and thick and consistent and the salt will help in the water to evaporate evenly so till then the tomatoes are cooking we'll give it five minutes and we'll go for a break and once we're back from the break i'll let you know what to do next don't go anywhere keep watching in this cuisine Welcome back, you're watching Indus Cuisine and I'm your chef Basim Akhun. During the break I just waited for the tomatoes to get super soft. As you can see they are soft. I just reduced the heat to the pilot. Now what I'll do is I shall add a few spices. Why? Because the tomato paste is nice and watery. And then after cooking the spices and giving it a nice flavor I shall add something else. So what we shall do is we shall add some cumin first. Then some red chilli powder. And then a little bit of coriander powder. We leave around a teaspoon on the side and we shall add around a teaspoon of turmeric powder. That's about it. Now what I'll do is I'll mix this up properly.
and this is done. Whenever you'll add any dried spice in, for, in the form of a powder, what will happen is that your gravy will get a little thick. Why? Because it will also absorb some of the water and it will give it a nice thick texture. So now what I'll do is I shall just pick up the beef mince, which should be on room temperature and I shall transfer all of it into the sauce over here. What will I do now? I shall cook this till the time the sauce completely evaporates. So increase the heat to full. Start mixing it. Now you need to remember one more thing that the tomato and the beef mince will also uh, mix and when once the beef cooks it will lose its fat and apart from that what the beef will also do is that the beef will also lose its water so the curry will get nice and soft in front of you so I shall just mix it like this slowly and gradually and now we shall just give it a lid and let it cook now what I'll do is I shall just bring another frying pan and till the time what I'll do is I'll clean up and then I'll let you know what to do next don't go anywhere so now what I'm doing on the other hand is I'm letting this cook over here so that the mince gets properly cooked and on the other hand I've kept a free or an empty frying pan over here. Why? Because we need to get ready with the eggs. Okay now what I'll do is first I'll just take a piece of tomato and I'll pick the jug up and I'll keep it over here. I shall just add the tomato in front of you over here, pick up the onion, take the root out, keep the root on the side, cut the onion into four halves and place it in this. What I'll do is I'll just take the root and I shall discard it in the dustbin over here because I do not need it anymore. What I'll do is I shall just take a little bit of water, let's say around half a cup, add it over here and process this until it converts into a super fine paste. As you can see this is done, now what I'll do is I'll keep it on the side, I'll take the remaining half cup of oil, bring it to heat and transfer all of this over here. We should add a few spices after we increase the heat to full, such as some coriander powder. a little bit of turmeric powder then half a teaspoon of salt this goes in we shall take two green chilies take a paring knife take the stem out cut it into one inch pieces and then add it to the pan over here this goes in, mix it up. Take the spatula, mix it properly. And I'll pick up the eggs after reducing the heat and transfer them slowly over here. Coat the eggs properly. Just shake them around and give it a lid and let it cook for let's say around five minutes. So the lid is at the back, I'll just bring it and I'll let you know what to do next. So as you can see the tomatoes are done and the beef mince is also done which we cooked together. So what I'll do is I just I shall take around three green chilies and finely chop them. Now these green chilies will separately go into the beef mince and then we shall cook it on high heat till all of the water evaporates and the oil basically splits. Remember one thing that the oil must split and then only you shall get the perfect result possible. Keep the green chilies stem on the side, pick this up and toss it in. This shall go in. We just add around a half teaspoon of salt. I shall add another half. Why? Because we need to flavor it towards the end and add the remaining coriander powder in. Now whatever you've used will go at the back. Why? Because you'll keep your station super clean. Remember that. That is very important. Increase the heat and start mixing it properly.
The beef mince is almost done. And as you can see, that the mince and the uh, egg will go together. The eggs are also done, the, the oil has come up. So what I'll do is I'll reduce the heat and completely close it. Let this cook properly. And now we shall just take a little bit of coriander, pick it up and finely chop it and add it to the mince. Now this needs to go in big quantities because it's, this is one of the main ingredients. So finely chop it. Take the stems also in, why? Because that's the main flavor. This is done. Now pick the coriander up, transfer it here. And now we shall mix it up properly. Now let this cook for two minutes on high heat. till the time the oil basically starts to split. Now what I'll do is I shall show you how this will be assembled and then I'll show you the final look of the recipe. Don't go anywhere, keep watching in this cuisine. So as you can see today's recipe is ready. Super easy, super quick and this can easily feed around four to five people in the breakfast time. I hope you liked today's episode. I'll see you in another episode of Pindus Cuisine. Take care of yourself, lovely people. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.